We're not going to present an update on our department leaders. Um, basically, we've got a lot going on at the church, you know. And when I gave everybody five minutes, I totaled them all up and realized updates and vision will be here for three or four hours. <laughs> so it really, updates and uh, prayer for all of the departments within the church deserves its own night. So we are going to have an update and celebration meeting on January the 4th, uh, 2024. For people who might not be here, we will record it because obviously that is very early in the year. Uh, all the department leaders can update you and share areas for prayer, but also where that year ahead is going to take them. That will be on January the 4th. Also, on top of that, in January, just to give you some updates, we'll also be having a new person's faith lunch on Sunday, the 20th of January, after church on that Sunday morning. Anyone who's joined us within the past year or so, because we've not really done something like this for a long time, so I'll, I'll cast that net out a little wider. Um, it's a chance to get to know us as a church, uh, and uh, hopefully we can get into the regular pattern of doing this every year with new people. But that will be on January the 4th. Just checking. <laughs> yes, January the 28th after church. Uh, also in January, um, we will have an overview of the vision that was presented at the start of this year, which was Battleship, not Cruise Ship. Um, and I just want to note one thing on that, is when I was presented that at the start of the year, that was not a vision for the year. That was a vision for changing how we see ourselves as a fellowship and how we work as a church. And me being me, wanted to implement everything in the first three months, and it just isn't like that, is it? That's not the way life is, and I had to realize that was never gonna be the case, because if you do things too fast, you don't do them right. So anything I'm sharing tonight is not a diversion from that, and we will update on how far we've come with that in January, but also look ahead at all of the work that still needs to be done, because there's some things that haven't even been touched on yet. But that doesn't mean to say they're not something that's important and they will get looked at. But I have to learn patience and not try and do everything all at once. Um, there are three things I do want to mention before we get into the main vision part for tonight. And it's three evangelistic focus points that I just want to touch on. The first one is house plants. Now, I just want to put this out there because we have a bunch of people who signed up when we started and uh, are hoping to get momentum within the groups. Obviously, again, we knew this was going to take time. But if you didn't sign up at the start, you can still sign up. I just want to put that out there. It's, uh, you can become a home host at any time. All you need to do is let me know and I will add you to the home host list. I would love to see more people rising up to this challenge because it's not just about planting new churches, although it's the tool for doing that. It's an evangelistic tool for people who want to reach their friends, their family, and their neighbors. And I am happy to share this with anyone who wants to invite somebody in their house and let them hear the gospel. We have, as of today, over 16 gospel messages available to use now. We have two messages that will help ground people in their faith. These all exist now. They've been recorded. They're there. They just need to be used. If you want to be part of this, very simple, send me a message. I will add you to the list. Done. Um, I want this to be used as a tool for outreach. I want people to hear the gospel in your homes. Uh, we've already encouraged the life group leaders as well that if somebody comes into your life group on a week who is not saved, you can pivot that week and do one of these. So that option is available in all the life groups. Secondly, on February the 6th, another diary date, uh, we're going to be holding an evangelism situation room. Um, I want to call it a war cabinet, but that sounds a little, um, <laughs> you know, 
Mm. A little bit on the nose. Um, but we're going to have a round table night for people to share ideas on outreach. And it's going to be one of those nights where there will be no bad ideas that night. There might be some ideas that prove to be bad ideas after that night, <laughs> but there will be no bad ideas that night. This is a chance for us to get our collective heads together and try and find some new ways to reach out to people. I'm really looking forward to that because I'm sure we've all got some thoughts and ideas on what we could do. So we're looking forward to that. Just because we share them, I'll put a disclaimer in there. Doesn't mean they'll all happen. But some of them, but there'll, be some, there'll be some things that'll spark off another idea in somebody else and spark something off in somebody else. And I believe we're going to see things come out of that night. And then thirdly, we are partnering with Festival Teesside next year, uh, which has taken place in Stewart Park in Middlesbrough on the 8th to the 9th of June. Um, this is a Teesside-wide evangelistic outreach that will be done in association with the Louis Powell pa Louis Palau Association, uh, which culminates in that big weekend in Middlesbrough. And the ask for people really in churches is, is five, is, is, is three simple things. Pray for five people. Invite five people. And follow up with five people. It's the same five each time, by the way, just in case nobody got that. Pray for them. Invite them, follow up with them. Uh, here are the important dates around that. Um, first one is 27th of April. Um, the Globe Theatre has been booked out in Stockton for a night of prayer and worship, which there's some things in that place that go on that, uh, I tell you, a night of prayer and worship, I tell you, it'll, that'll have an effect on the town. Uh, so that's going to be a very important night. Uh, and then in the week, in the 1st to the 7th, that's two weeks, in the weeks of the 1st to the 17th of May, there will be social action in, happening in every town in Teesside. And I want to make sure there's something happening in Billingham that we can get involved with. Um, if you don't live in Billingham and you're in Teesside, there should be something happening in your town as well. Then on Monday... The 5th, 13th, oh, I'm terrible with numbers. May the 13th, and all that week, there will be friendship evangelism training nights happening right across Teesside. But the one to note in your diary is the 13th, because we are hosting that one here. So we'll be hosting that night here, where people will be trained in friendship evangelism. Incidentally, we'll need student teams that night. Uh, because we are going to be looking after that. Um, this will be training to help people reach their friends. So please come along to that, support that. Um, they'll be happening all week. We'll be hosting the first one here. Then on June the 3rd to the 4th, there will be a training night for people who want to be what they call in festival friends. Festival friends is a, a way of just saying people who pray for those who've been saved. That's what they're doing. They'll be the new prayer, new, new convert prayer team. They're hoping to get a team of 200 people to deal with all of the people who are going to make decisions over that weekend. Once I know how you can sign up to be part of that, because I'm sure there'll be some people here who do, I'll let you know, because I don't know how you do that at the moment. It might be something as simple as you go to that night. <laughs> that would make sense. Um, and then there will be a whole week of outreach to the th on the 3rd to the 7th of June that culminates in the big event at Stewart's Park on the 8th and 9th. Uh, also, in the run-up to this, they're encouraging every church and every Christian to pray. To pray, and they want to see every street in Teesside prayed for, which will be a wonderful thing. To, to help facilitate that, uh, you see on the side there, there's a thing that says Oikos. There is an app called Oikos. It is spelt O-I-K-O-S. If you download that app, you can sign up with it, and then you connect it with Festival Teesside, and you can see all of the streets that have been prayed for. And Billingham has been started. Not many yet, but there's some. 
Stockton's got low, Middlesbrough's got a whole bunch. But we're going to try and use this. So when you pray for a street, you mark it as prayed. And we can see every street in Teesside prayed for in the lead up to this event. I think that's very exciting. I really do. So that is going to be a big thing next year. And I'm very excited to be part of this. You know, I'm not an events person, but I am raising the profile of God in Teesside person. So I think this is going to be an excellent thing to be part of. Um, I will do a proper update on vision in January, but I just wanted to get out of our minds right at the start that this was a, ever going to be a vision for just the year. We are building a church for the future. And building a church for the future is going to take time. 